Day, which means we also have Mike with us today. Yes, hello. It's also St. Patty's Day, so That's happy St. Patty's Day. Well, we got our green on, yes. <laughs> and we even got a green vehicle with us. So this is our Sage Gray, which I feel like this should be Sage Green. Yeah. Um, Hyundai Santa Cruz Ultimate. This is a 2023 model. You guys seem to love the Santa Cruz and we absolutely love talking about it. Of course, with the Ultimate, this is our fully loaded model in Canada. So it has all the bells and whistles. We'll go over everything, but you'll be surprised. A lot of these great features do come standard in the Santa Fe mm -hmm. here in Canada. Um, we also only get the turbocharged motor, so we don't get the regular 2.5 or naturally aspirated 2.5. Um, we'll talk about some of those differences as well too. But first, let's start off with our usual intro. Yes. So if you guys are watching in the future and you wanna get straight into the video, you can skip to the three minute mark. That's when we'll start a walk around. In the meantime though, we did these videos for three reasons. Number one, you may own a Kia or Hyundai. We wanna make videos to amplify the ownership experience. Yes, and we make a lot of them. <laughs> we uh, make a number lot. <laughs> two, you might be in the market for a vehicle. We definitely would like you to consider a Kia or a Hyundai as one of your selections, again, mm -hmm. A lot to learn on this channel for whatever you're interested in. Yep. And then number three, if you do land on a Kia or Hyundai vehicle and you live in Ontario, Canada, we want to help you out. So we have three stores, Brantford Kia, where we film every day, Brantford Hyundai, which is about 10 minutes down the road, and they actually gave us this vehicle to film today. Mike drove it over. And then we also have Owen Sound Hyundai, which is just a little bit more on the outskirts of Ontario. Yes, <laughs> yes. If you're going skiing or snowboarding, stop by there. Definitely stop by there and maybe buy a car while you're at it. Yeah. I'll show you guys how to join our live videos if you are watching again in the future and you want to check it out. So all you have to do is go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. It looks a little something like this. It may vary depending on what browser you're using or um, what device you're using. You go to live here and you'll see our thumbnail didn't upload properly, so it's just our ceiling. But our upcoming video right over here, all you have to do is refresh it after the 2 p.m. mark. And then it'll say live. It'll There's have the new thumbnail. Check that out. And then you just click that video as you would a regular YouTube video. It'll load you in. You may have to watch an ad. But one of the best, one of our favorite parts of live, I should say, is you have this live chat box here where you guys can ask us questions. Um, if you want us to go over something again in the vehicle, you can mention it there. We always head back and look at these questions and I'm just checking to see if there's any before we start. Um, there's happy St. Patrick's days and some hellos and the color is unbelievable. Yeah. I really do like this color. Um, I'm gonna make sure I take the key with me. That would be helpful. Gonna skip the ad so we can check our feed. And let's take a look at the vehicle. So, like I mentioned, in Canada, we only get the 2.5 liter turbo in our Santa Cruz. I do have to say, I love this engine so much. This vehicle is so much fun to drive while still remaining fairly efficient. So the horsepower spec is 281 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. It's also tied into the whole fun to drive um, with its eight speed dual clutch wet type transmission. So it makes this vehicle tons of fun, but also efficient. Um, you switch it into sport mode and it just feels like a completely different animal. So lots of power when you want it, but also efficiency when you want it. Take a look at the front grille. So this is a dark chrome. In some lighting, it can look almost blacked out, like a shiny blackout finish. And then in uh, bright light, it can look more chromey than usual. But our Hyundai logo and everything in here is all the same material. It looks very, very nice. At the bottom of the Santa Cruz, we get these off-roady skid plates. So this vehicle is quite rugged, although it has some luxurious finishes like this. We do have a front camera located just underneath the Hyundai emblem. So check that out. That's one of our safety features. I'll show you when we get inside. There's a full 360 camera. We also have beautiful LED daytime running lights and a full LED headlight unit. Now these daytime running lights look amazing um, during the day and of course at nighttime too. It just has almost like a wing-like finish. Mike, how would you describe it? The angel wings. An angel yeah. wing? Yeah, it looks really good. So it's shared um, the same style with the Hyundai Tucson and I absolutely love it. It's very nice. It looks aggressive too while still remaining luxurious. So we just said about this truck. Yeah. Um, also down there, we have our front radar plate. So that's a sensor that'll pick up the distance of the vehicle ahead of you. That's gonna work with your smart cruise control and your forward collision avoidance. So it uses your camera and your radar sensor to monitor your lanes, keep you centered in your lanes, but also keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead of you. If there is a detected risk of a collision, it will alert you and it will break for you if you fail to react. So very smart vehicle. For our wheels, we have these beautiful 20-inch machine finished alloy wheels. They are all black on the ultimate trim. Around our wheel, we have this plastic wheel well. And if you take a closer look, you have a little Santa Cruz integrated there. So each wheel has that. It's not just the front ones. I, I really like the attention to detail. Just extra little things, Easter eggs in the car, if you will. We also have a blacked out mirror. 
with a turn signal repeater and then another camera just underneath. So that also plays a part in your full 360 camera. But what's added is you'll get a live camera footage feed of whatever is in your blind spot whenever you um, signal your turn. So if you go to change lanes or if you go to make a left or right turn, you'll get a live feed showing you exactly what's there. It also works out great if you parallel park frequently because it'll show you exactly where your curb is and how close you are. With the uh, Ultimate, we also get these added side steps. So a very industrial, I would say, look. So looks rugged matches the, I guess, whole aesthetic of the truck while still remaining very nice. And it's new for 2023. Yes. So we didn't have these on the 2022 available, but the 23s yeah. do, and I love them. I do have to say I like it. It's definitely, if you're wearing heels while driving the Santa Cruz, I generally tend to skip the side steps altogether, and it gets a little weird. Like, I completely stick my leg out, but if you guys see me do that, just ignore that. Pretend I used <laughs> it properly, like a normal person. We also have our smart touch button here. So as long as the key is somewhere on you, it could be in your pocket, in your bag, you can walk up to the car, press that. It'll either lock or unlock your door for you. You never have to really touch your key if you don't want to. However, there's quite a few um, technology pieces on this key. So we'll take a look at it first. So it's a pretty cool design. It's not too big. Everyone says the keys look huge when they're in my hands. I think I just have small hands. So we have lock, unlock. We have our tailgate our panic button, and remote start. So to trigger remote start and key in Hyundai vehicles, all you have to do is press the lock button and then press and hold the remote start button for about three seconds. You'll see your hazard lights flash and your engine will turn over. If you have a hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or electric vehicle, you won't hear it, but you'll see your lights turn over or turn on. Fuel door over here. And then we'll look at the wheel well on this one as well. Yep. So another Santa Cruz. That brings our Santa Cruz count to what? Two at this point? Two so far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I like this um, piece <laughs> along the bed. There's a lot of features that come standard in the Santa Cruz bed for Canada. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, the taillights. So beautiful LED taillights. They do say design in California right over there. So this vehicle definitely has a beachy adventure feel to it. You could tell it was designed in California. But however, in winter, I know you drove it, what, two weeks ago? Mike? Yeah, I've been driving this as often as I can. As often yeah. as you can. It's just a lot of fun, and it handles the Canadian weather so good. It's, it's. I mean, I've driven every single SUV we have. This, in the winter, the Santa Cruz, Your favorite. I couldn't even feel it. It was amazing. It's largely due to the H-Track all-wheel drive, yeah. so that's Hyundai's all-wheel drive system. It is very, very smart, so it will adjust the torque distribution as needed. However, you can also also put this vehicle into select terrain mode, so snow, mud, and sand, and that way it'll adjust for those conditions. I'll talk about the bed now, though, because I hyped it up for so long. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use the button on our key fob to drop down the tailgate. It is a smart close tailgate. Smart close and soft close, sorry. So there we go. Drops down nice and easy. You do have to manually put it back up, though, if that's what you're looking for. Um, we have a fully lined bed in this vehicle. It isn't your largest pickup truck, and this may not be the pickup truck to go for if you're towing, you know, a really, really large trailer or animals or anything majorly heavy, but it is very, very capable and I'll show you why. First of all, I'll talk about the side steps here. So even with the bed up, you'll be able to see our other step, but there's many access points to get into the bed of this vehicle. Super easy to, it's not too high up. You can do it in heels, super, super easy. The tunnel cover is a very heavy duty tunnel cover. It holds up to 220 pounds, so pretty strong. Um, and I will show you how it operates. We just pull it out, try not to fall out. Okay, so now it's locked into place. I'll have Mike focus in on the handle, which beautifully says Hyundai. All you have to do is push it up. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry for headphone users. That's going to sound so loud, but <laughs> it's super easy, and it just rolls into that um, canister right over there. Super easy to use. I hate unclipping tunnel covers and folding them up and then seeing them flap in the wind through my uh, side mirrors. Maybe I just don't do it right, but this is more convenient for me, that's for sure. Okay, what else is in here? So glad you asked. We have three <laughs> LED lights. So we have our top-down light over here that you can trigger with our jellyfish launcher button right by the driver's side. <laughs> and then we also have two LED lights here. So left and right. This one still has the plastic on it. Let's see that. That was satisfying. Some ASMR for you guys. <laughs> Six tie-down points, and we have four heavy-duty D-rings for more tie-downs. This is our rail and cleat system, so you can slide this to wherever you need and tie down more things with your vehicle um, or for your bed. And then, um, oh, I don't know what it's called off the top of my head or the part name for it, but there's a couple, there's a bed extender, there's a bunch of different accessories for the uh, Santa Cruz itself that really make this vehicle whatever you need it to do. <laughs> now Mike's going to show you his favorite portion of the bed. 
right after I drop oh, down. Oh yeah, I love this. This is a, this is a fisher. <laughs> this is a fishing preference for me, but yeah, um, absolutely love that there's a built-in cooler with a drain mm -hmm. too as well. Like I, uh, you know, in the cups, right? Yeah. You could you could see me and my son sitting right there, trying to catch <laughs> fish. Him catching them all, and uh, and then just throw it in the back there with some ice. You know, drink. This is a tailgate. I mean, this oh, is yeah. a tailgate truck. The LED lights, all of that. I mean. Took my kids for ice cream, perfect, right? Like just sat in the back and relaxed. There was LED lights, it was nighttime. So I really love this truck. Obviously everyone can tell that. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, we, this is a very popular truck for us. Oh so yeah. So I drive it when I can, but I'm usually, <laughs> you know, I'm usually not because uh, very hot, very hot piece for us. There's truly so much you can do with this vehicle. And this all comes standard, by the way. I know I said that so many times, but I just want to emphasize this is all standard. So the composite bed liner, the rail and cleat system, the D-rings, the um, tonneau cover, all of that is standard with this vehicle. I think it's a great deal, personally. I have no use for a truck, but I love driving the Santa Cruz whenever I can. Um, we'll focus in a little bit more here on all your steps. So all this, the bumper is very heavy duty, so you feel very secure hopping in. And then we have another Santa Cruz right over there. There we go. Now I'm gonna show you guys a couple more features on how this vehicle will not only suit your truck needs as long as you're not towing very, very heavy things, but make your life easy and comfortable. Let's hop in the driver's seat. Perfect. Oh, I just spotted that camera back there. I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, backup camera. Mike, I'll actually have you come on the side first, yes. sorry. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I was just, this was on purpose. I was Full just walk walking around, around the car. This is totally on purpose. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> so we have a power driver's seat with our leather finish. This is our black leather. Both your front seats are heated and ventilated. So in Canada, we have super cold winters and very hot summers. Leather gets freezing in the winter and scorching in the summer. You get the best of both worlds. Both of those issues are taken care of. So I'm gonna hop in with my side steps here. Oh, there we go. Which make me extremely tall. I can see right over this car. <laughs> and she got out of the back easy. Did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, it's, it's accessible, that's for sure. Um, for our sound system, we have a Bose premium sound. I will say, I think Bose is my favorite sound system that our Kia and Hyundai vehicles um, offer. I really do like it. Then we have automatic express up-down windows for driver and passenger. And then of course the rear windows are still automatic. They're just not expressed down. We have our mirror controls, that's all standard. I do love how they follow the same interior styling as the Tucson with this beautiful, beautiful piece of finish that extends all the way across the dash. And you can see it like fully integrates seamlessly. So it looks very, very good. Then you also have your fans built in there. So if you take a look over here, those are your fans. You can barely tell. Super, super nice design. Um, another thing you add with this trim level that you don't get in the lower trim is this beautiful fully digital 12.3 inch or 10 and a quarter inch display. Sorry, I'm so used to the EV6 we did yesterday. But fully digital, I'm gonna quickly turn on the car again. You can see we have our speedometer on the left, tachometer on the right. We have our fuel gauge, which we need to get gas right now for this car. There's no <laughs> yeah, gas in yeah, here. I just noticed right when I was getting here. So <laughs> yeah. next on the list. Here's our low fuel. A lot of people ask why we have check engine lights on our cars when we film. Whenever you run your car without the engine actually being on, you're always gonna have your check engine light, oil light, and um, battery. battery light yeah. on. So the cars don't come with check engine lights, that's for sure. In the center cluster here, you can actually change what you see. So right now it's on our lane safety menu. We also have our drive info. You can see sensor fueling, your average, and then your actual digital speed. This vehicle is equipped with navigation. If I did have a route set on my nav, I could see it right over there. But um, if you don't have a route set, you'll just get a compass. Then we have our all wheel drive torque distribution and our tire pressure. You have to be driving for this to display. Um, I'll now have Mike come over and we'll take a look at everything else. Oh. That was the sunroof, guys. <laughs> Did you show them the jellyfish launcher again? Oh, let me show you guys that. <laughs> we gotta call that one out. So, you know with trucks, you get a jellyfish launcher, right? Just kidding. <laughs> That's your... Um, <laughs> bed lighting. <laughs> so it only, of, co it'll of course, only work if you're parked, um, just because they don't want you flashing your lights at your following drivers, which makes sense, I guess. Yeah, no distractions. <laughs> um, here we have another 10 and a quarter inch display. This is what your main screen looks like. You can get a little glimpse of your navigation, your date time, which the time's drawn. We just got daylight savings time. We'll slide over now. If you want to open up your map, you can take a look at that and drive around with it like this. You can also have your screen shared. Or, oops, whoopsies, <laughs> we'll go to setup and I'll talk a little bit about the driver assistance features that come in this vehicle. 
So here we go. Under the driving convenience, we'll have our highway drive assist. So this is what I was speaking about earlier. It'll use your front sensors, your camera that monitors your lanes, your navigation and your speed limit assist. It'll know the speed limit of the highway you're on. When there's any curves, it'll take the curves for you, keep you centered in your lane. It'll follow the distance of the vehicle ahead of you and slow you down if you guys come to a stop and then take you back up to speed again. It does almost everything for you. You still have to give a little bit of steering input and of course driver input. It's not a full autopilot, but it is very smooth. The operation is seamless. I definitely recommend trying it if you do get a chance to test drive one of our Kia Hyundai vehicles. We also have the option of doing the auto speed change. If you don't like that and you'd rather do that yourself, you can easily turn that off while leaving the rest of the highway drive assist on. So all of these features, you can customize them to make them suit you or your needs, what you would like. Or you can completely turn them off. You can have them on as is. They come from the factory, so everything on. You can even set the warning timing or um, volume. So if you think it's, if you're a little hard of hearing or if it's just way too loud for you, you can set it to be more quiet or a bit louder. You can change the uh, sensitivity, so standard or late warning methods <laughs> but here you can see you can go into each and every safety feature and either turn them off make them just give you a warning or make them have a full assist so forward safety is your collision avoidance if i turn this off completely it'll not warn me it won't warn me sorry and it won't break for me either warning will just give me a warning and active assist will always provide assistance trust me you will go through these yeah. little tidbits when i drive this i'm like i don't like how many beeps i don't like this and that and you can so fine tune this one beep only oh, yeah. like it's really cool ambient lighting this vehicle does have ambient lighting already integrated into it so i'm just going to change the color because right now it's on a pretty sensitive color we'll make it Violet's purple pretty bright, yeah. Violet's bright and then we're going to change the brightness there. well you can see it more on here than yeah than in real life wow and then see, right yeah the, the doors door. So very bright at nighttime, this is obviously way more dramatic. You can set it to whatever color you like. And if it's something that you don't like at all, shut it off. You can completely turn it off. All right. I like my, I, I would rather prefer them even brighter, but here's like a little hack I did by mistake. <laughs> Put a little, I've had a little piece of white paper here and it magnified it like crazy. Oh yeah, it'll it make it off of the white. super yeah. bright. Um, I'm gonna talk about the steering wheel for a little bit and then also what we got in the center here. And then we're gonna take a look at the back because the back is actually quite cool. So. Over here, sorry, we're starting in the center. We got a USB. This one's for media, so this is gonna be used for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. A 12 volt, just underneath there. And then another USB for charging. This flat area here is a wireless phone charger. This is only available in the Ultimate here in Canada. And we got some more storage room just on the left. Cup holders, that's pretty basic. Here's the drive and train modes I was speaking about earlier. So with this vehicle, even if you're driving in eco mode or a uh, Oh, sorry, normal mode or smart mode, it's still going to have a pretty good punch to it. The 2.5 turbo is definitely a fun um, powertrain, but you throw it into sport and oh my gosh, this vehicle completely changes. So even the clusters change. That's how you know you're going through a transition. So in smart again, um, smart will adapt to whatever you're doing. So if you absolutely floor it to get on the highway, it'll put you into sport automatically and then it'll drop you back down to, into normal once you let off the throttle. Um, I definitely recommend trying out sport in yeah. this vehicle. We also have terrain modes. So to access terrain, all you have to do is press, see how it's lit up under drive. We'll press it again, now it's terrain, and we'll use this toggle to cycle. So we'll take a look at our screen again. We got snow, mud, and sand. And that'll change your all-wheel drive torque distribution, your stability control, your traction control, just to give you optimal performance in those conditions. Now, if you don't have the time, or if you don't think about changing your terrain mode, the vehicle will still sense if there's any, I hate this word, but slippage, and it will correct you as needed. Over here, we have our downhill braking assist, our parking camera, which we'll press right now, and I'll show you our full 360. So this is just directly behind us. Wait, I'm gonna let go of this and my, oh, no, oh, it's in it. Perfect. perfect. So uh, just directly behind us. Oh, oh shut off. Oh, darn. There we go. I had it running for too long. Well, oh, I thought we ran out of gas. No, oh. <laughs> okay. it's not on. So directly behind us, and then our top down 360 view. You can also change the camera. So if you do put a hitch on this vehicle, this is great for backing up against a, any trailer. And then these are side view cameras. So that is what you're gonna see when you turn your turn signal on. Actually, let me demonstrate real quick. I do have to turn on the engine for this, I'm sorry. There we go. So I'm gonna turn on my left turn signal. Now we have a live feed of whatever is in our blind spot. So you can see how this would make parallel parking so easy. You would see exactly where the sidewalk ends. Let's turn that off quickly. Get the screen back on just for a quick second. Over here we have our seating controls and our heated steering wheel. So ventilated seats and heated seats. 
super easy to differentiate between the two and then a heated steering wheel. I will say Kia and Hyundai do an absolute fantastic job with their heated steering wheels because they actually heat up the entire wheel, not just certain touch points. And while we're on the topic of steering wheels, this is my favorite steering yes. wheel in the Kia Hyundai family. Mine too. It is so easy to drive. Not that steering wheels should be hard to drive with, yeah. <laughs> but it's just a comfy wheel. So just, you have so many places to put your hands. I really like having my hands in here and just, just driving. You do have paddle shifters as well. So tied to your eight speed dual clutch transmission, downshift, upshift, lots of fun to drive. If you'd rather use your actual gear shift, you can always flip it to the left and then upshift, downshift, nice and easy. Pretend you're in a manual. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we'll hop in the back, but before we do that, quick little sunroof moment. It is a powered roof, so you can open it. You can even tilt it. I'm not gonna open it all the way because it was raining and I'm scared water will get on yeah. us. And then it does have a cover. Okay, right, let's check out the back. See, I drive the 22, so I don't have the side bars, the side steps. Oh. But, so I, appre I really appreciate them. Yeah. <laughs> so I already went ahead and put one of these seats up. And sorry, I might take the camera yep. from you, Mike. Take a look. We got some great under seat storage. And there's your kit for your real spare tire. So the spare tire itself is located underneath this vehicle. You can see it's quite deep. You can choose to put the spare tire kit somewhere else if, if you'd like, and then you'll have more room over there. USB is just in the back of the center console. And then we have our air vents and our seat pockets. Here is our side door. Pretty standard, pretty basic. I'll give Mike the camera again and I'll show you guys what seating's like. So to knock the seats down, there's a little pull tab. I'm just gonna pull that grab the seat itself and push it down. Super easy to do. All right, I'm very comfy. <laughs> I'm gonna close this door actually so it's not too shiny inside. Um, leg room wise, I am quite comfy. This seat's further than how I would normally drive. So that's playing a little bit of a part. Um, we do have plastic seat backs, so super easy to wipe down and clean. And then of course with leather, I think there's always an advantage of cleaning it up. Um, so if you have pets or kids, they're messy, super easy to clean leather. Under the seat itself, we do have a good amount of foot room, so I can tuck my feet under there if you're someone with bigger feet, you have room. And then for our center seat, the, you can see the lump, the hump, oh my gosh, on the bottom is not too high. So I am not hunched over at all, I'm still quite comfy. The seat itself is a fairly good size, it's not too thin, so I don't feel like I'm on top of my left or right passenger. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's pretty comfy. Yeah, the, it, the roof looks a little higher than even the other ones we've yeah. seen. <laughs> Um, I will open this up for you guys. So this is your rear window. It is manual, of course. I do, anytime I drive a truck, I always look for this because I, just, I love having it open. It's a little bit of fresh air and just seeing out a little bit better. If you have pets, they might love yes, this too. This is, the, this is for me, the doggy door right Yeah, <laughs> and super easy to use. So if you have any rear passengers here, they can quickly open it, close it, no problem. Nice and easy. LED lighting in the back too. Can't go wrong. Nope. I will point out there is no ambient lighting in the back. So yes. That's no. one thing I wish they wish they added. But other than that, I love the Santa Cruz. Let's uh, answer some questions, I think. Yeah. I really have to learn how to start using the side steps. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> well, there. it's like when you, when you, uh, if you were to drive this for a while, yeah. that's all you would use. And then you would complain after when you get into a car without it, right? So two days ago, I drove a 17 Sierra 1500 and a bigger pickup truck but i was just so used to hopping out of it and yeah. lifting my leg all the way up to get in <laughs> just jumping in real quick <laughs> just jumping out pretty much oh, oh, i put that too high okay um someone said it would be nice if the blind spot view could be relocated to the center console so i actually think it's an advantage that it's in your gauge cluster because you don't really have to take your eyes off of the road yeah. or off um, ahead of you a lot of manufacturers like i know gm and even honda they have it in the center so i'm just gonna drop this down a bit get the car in more um they'll have it in the center and i think it's, it doesn't make too much sense yeah to me. i like it better there because i mean i've driven ones with it in the center but you're naturally going to check your blind spot anyway. So imagine mm -hmm. you can look here and then you're still going to do this. But if you're looking at the center, that's, you know, that's, you're going, yeah. you're going You're turning right your there. head too yeah. much. <laughs> um, a manual cover is normal for non-panoramic sunroofs. It is generally normal for non-panoramic roofs. There's very few cars we've had here that don't have 
a power that have yeah. a power roof for yeah. a regular size sunroof. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. How does the child car seat fit? We don't have the car oh, seat today. <laughs> yeah, so it is a it's a little bit tighter of a fit. Yeah. Right. Then then I mean I was in the set what were the Palisade right that was like. Uh, but it's uh, pretty much like a Tucson. So it's a little bit of a tighter fit than obviously the Palisade. Um, still very standard. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, oh, it's better, but I would say pretty standard. Um, a couple of people asked if I can fit or how is the comfort in the back seats? You saw it was pretty comfy. It was, um, quite nice. Yeah. Um, happy Friday team. Are those driver assist features on or off as default? So they'll typically come on from factory. And then from there, usually on delivery, we'd go over the car with our customer, walk them through what it does and how it works. If they want to leave it on, they'll leave it on. If they want to change it, we give them the offer to the option to change it or turn it off. Yeah, you want to really sit there for a while and program it, then and drive it ponder. for a bit, yeah. and then redo it again because everything's going to change. Paul said it would be awesome if I had a hybrid motor. I think a hybrid. Yes. I there's nothing like, confirmed yet. Yeah, but no, I really we were, think they'll make this. Yeah, happen. we were trying to dig. At the, at the auto show when yeah. we had the interview, if you see. Um, but they were very, very, very hush-hush about yeah. it. Um, the fact that there's a battery plant now open, right, in the U.S. is, is really high hopes with just where we're going with Electrified. Mm -hmm. Santa Cruz, Santa Fe, if they run out of Santas, will Hyundai's... Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Next vehicle will be the Santa Claus. It says Santa <laughs> Claus in the contract. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the Santa Claus, but yeah, no. Someone said it's called the thingamabob. I'm going to call everything that now. 20-inch machine finished thingamabobs yeah. right over there. Thingamabob bars on the side. That's the thing with live videos. We, we try our best to make it smooth, but sometimes we just have total brain farts. Yeah, just like, exactly. what's the word for steering wheel? I forget. <laughs> like, yeah, it's exactly. Just... But you guys help out, which yeah. I love. <laughs> um, where's the guy who usually does this show? So are you talking about... Probably Peter. I don't know if they're talking about Peter or Pat. Pat owns this place, and he's usually here. He owns this place. <laughs> yeah. um, he's usually here on Arkea days. Today he's off um, visiting with his uh, daughter. I wouldn't be here if I owned this place on a Friday. No, I'm <laughs> you, thanks for being honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mike is our Hyundai guy. Yes. So he works at our Brantford Hyundai store, and whenever we're filming a Hyundai, you usually see him. There you go. Hyundai hat. He yeah. puts the sign up for us. Um, but yeah, and Peter, Peter hasn't been doing videos here for about a year now. He moved to another province, but he still does videos. His channel is Peter Low One. Uh, hey, Gabby, can you lie down in there like you're going camping? It's wet in the back, unfortunately, but uh, we'll you reshoot in the yeah, summer. No. Yeah, we'll definitely refilm a Santa Cruz in the summer, and there I will lie down in it. But today I I'll don't, lie down in yeah. it now, but I think you guys want to see Gabby lie down in <laughs> it. Good. Go, that's actually go. that blue is the one I really want to get in here. You know that that like baby bluish oh, yeah. one. I think yeah. it's called stone blue. Stone blue. Yeah. Okay, so that's. Is it. the sound back? Are we good? Let us know if the sound's back. I just got a call. That's why. Okay. Yeah. So um, I do want to bring one in. I really love that color. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, it changes the whole truck. That's the thing about the truck. You see black one beside it, like. It's so different to me, right? I mean, you know it's a Santa Cruz, but uh, the colors really, really are bold. I, I love the statement they've made with the lineup and the colors in the Santa Cruz, uh, and I hope they just continue it. Um, let, let's see. Question about Tucson. Are you guys having problems with GPF needing regen? Is that a common problem for Hyundai? Not that I know of, no. No. Okay, let's see. Is there a power outlet in the rear and can the cover be locked when closed? Yes, yes. And, yes and yes. So yes there yes. is um, there is an outlet I'll show you guys. And you can lock the tunnel cover. So it's retractable and lockable and heavy duty. Great time to show you guys the soft opening again. So we'll just press the latch. Wow. There we go. No clunks. I guess I'm gonna hop in just to it's make it a bit side. easier. There you go. <laughs> so nice and easy. 
And then it is watertight as well. So when you have it latched, of course, and then you just want to make sure you put the cover on it again. Um, so whatever you put in here, whether it be snow or if you leave your bed open, you should be okay. Ooh. Easy. Wow. <laughs> Made that look easy. Um, I actually did a, uh, I took like um, a 30 inch TV out and I did a little outdoor movie night. One oh, night. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So it's, uh, oh yeah, I could, I can live in there, you know, put a washroom in there. That's it. I definitely, when the weather gets nicer, of course, today, the temperature is nice. I got my winter tires off today, but it's so gross outside. Like it's, it's We're yucky. in that phase where now it's raining. Yeah. You know what? Thankfully, it's not snowing. Yeah. Two more degrees less, and this would have been snow for the last, since last night. Yeah. You guys got a good look at our trailer for a second. It's where we do deliveries. Um, okay, let's scroll down a bit. Cyber gray is paint, larger all-terrain tires, and EV motor in the Santa Cruz would be perfect. No, I agree with you there. We do have a gray. I'm just going to bring every color. How about that when they hit? Um, and we're going to, I mean, the good news is, is that we're getting, especially this month, we're getting a lot of our new cars in a lot quicker, guys. So mm -hmm. um, at least the Hyundai side, I know you guys will see a lot more and a lot more of what you guys are requesting, because I do notice we, we are getting maybe three times, three times the rate of what we used to. So we're getting back there. Um, someone asked, does she come with the car? And the answer is no, but Mike does. Yeah, I do. You know, I know how to We're drive it. To we could have him. movie night. In the, you know, I've got everything set up. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long is the wait time for a Kia Forte GT Limited or Forte 5 GT Limited? I just ordered one from Gus Revenberg in Windsor. They said four to six months. Is it the same for you or do you get more Fortes? I would say it's about the same for us. Um, however, it really comes down to what color you want and how picky you are. I know for Forte Fives, they are very, very, very hard to get. We get very few of them. I think we've gotten one this year total. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely a better chance of getting a regular Forte four-door sedan, and you may prefer that in the end. <laughs> um, someone said, okay, Mike, I mean, you're no Gabby, but sure. <laughs> Come on, you know, of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just picked up this Sportage EX Hybrid, and I do enjoy the grill of the Tucson. But the Hyundai, Hyundai dealer didn't want to make a better deal. <laughs> See, that's at least it's the same vehicle, so you still got the same technology. But yeah. the styling is definitely um, a preference for some people. Random question, because I missed yesterday. Unfortunately, are the order poles for the EV6 up again? If so, what is the wait time? So no, our ordering bank is still closed for all vehicles. However, wait times are they're looking good. So yeah. we're getting a good allocation of all of our products, and things are definitely starting to look better. I don't know if they'll ever reopen the ordering bank. It may just be an allocation-based um, delivery from now on, but thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, a couple of our units, too, is in the same spot as now aiming for the 2024 lineup, yeah. right? Coming out in late summer, fall. So, yeah, and we'll get those all in. I mean, I'm really excited in the next two months. What I think we're getting in is you guys are going to see it, and you're going to love it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Someone said it's going to snow tomorrow. Please no. Oh my but, gosh. Yeah, thank you for... Uh, I literally just got my yeah, snows taken off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I, I hate it here sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I just need it to rain all this stuff gone, the dirty stuff gone, and then, uh, yeah, and then bring the spring, right? Bring oh, the spring. Hank just asked a great question, and I finally have an answer for it. So he said, when do Kia Nero EV deliveries start? And we're actually getting our very first one at the end of this month, hopefully. So these were the Nero EVs that were ordered for Kia Canada's pre-order event. These are not just regular orders. Mm -hmm. So they're full-on factory-placed orders. Um, we're really, really excited. So we got a fair bit at our dealership, and uh, my customer is so happy. Nice. Um, <laughs> Uh, any insider info on EV9 pricing? And we've heard nothing, guys. So we have just about the same info as you guys. Um, you know, we'll always hint what we know, but we really don't know anything other than we, the photos and yeah. the seating configuration, really. Whatever Google says at the moment. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, guys. I think I will probably end off today's video. We'll Wait, be one thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> Does the sidestep come on any other SUVs besides the Santa Cruz? Hyundai wise, yes, it comes on the Santa Fe as well. Um, so uh, I actually just saw one. We have we have a great off road one. I should actually bring it. We've dressed it up with tires and everything. It's in our showroom. Um, it's like our camping edition. So I am going to sneak that over here one day, and you'll mm -hmm. see what it looks like in a rugged form. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. We, we need actually, cars to film. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're scrounging around here. 
All right, guys. Okay, now we'll end off today's video. We'll see you guys next uh, Monday at 2 p.m. for Kia Day. Yes. It'll be a Kia car. And then we'll do some more Hyundai events during the week. And then hopefully we'll throw in some fun things as well, too. But it depends on if they get anything fun. Exactly. All exactly. Right. So, yeah, no, I think we on the Hyundai side will be getting some custom kind of things. So bear with us. But, uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Happy St. Patty's Day again, guys. Yep. Uh, don't drink and drive. No. You know, <laughs> be afraid to have one um, not driving. Mm -hmm. uh, and have a great weekend. Yes. Don't forget to wear green. It's my favorite color. Okay, bye.